Shape Your Place has been invited to the exclusive pre-event look at some magnificent fans. And with me, I have, coming into view very soon, the curator, Robert Bell. Hello, Robert. Hello, Mandy. Can you tell me, please, a little bit about this collection that you've got? Um, it's a, a relatively small collection of fans. Um, there's a variety of um, styles. You've got screen, screen fans, and then you're more familiar fanning out. Uh, specimens. Um, so the earliest ones date from the sort of late 18th century. There's quite uh, quite a, a varied collection. Um, one of them was uh, of such um, good quality that it was for a period of time loaned to the V&A Museum. And that in, in actual fact, they were quite uh, reluctant to give it back to us. Oh, but um, we have got it. We back have got it back now. It's on, it's on display. <laughs> um, there's also a collection of um, ethnographic. Um, Fans. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ethnographic, what does that mean? For oh, those that don't know big words like that. Um, there's, there's ethnogra ethnography is about the study of um, sort of native cultures. Um, so it's pre-industrial, usually. That's, that's the loose definition. Um, so we've got um, examples from India and Africa. Oh, can we have a look at some of the ones from India? Yes, they're along here. Okay, let's have a look. When does the event run from, Robert? Um, it will be open this Saturday um, between 11 and 3.30. It will then be repeated on the uh, first Saturday of December. And if uh, people are, uh, can't come on those days, uh, we can open the exhibition by appointment. So you just have to give us a little bit of warning and we'll, we'll let you into the library. And as always, I, is this free of charge? Oh yes, uh, all, all of our exhibitions are you free. Know, this is such a fantastic thing we have in Wisbeach, and I can't stress this enough to shape your place, viewers and readers, that uh, it's free. So um, come on then, show me some more then. What have we got in the cabinets? Um, these, these three here, but they were given, given to the museum by a gentleman called um, John, John L. Kirk. Um, he was a, um, born in Wisbeach, but he uh, became an architect and lived in Maidenhead. But when he was in his 80s, he had no family, so he started to bring his collections back to the town. So you have examples of fans, ceramics, and paintings that he gave to us. Quite a big collection. So um, out of all of these, then, which is your favourite? Has any got a particular story with it? Um, you showed me one earlier that actually had a lens in it, didn't you? That one's further along here. OK, I don't want to rush, because if we rush when we're on camera, it makes our viewers look very, very sick. Right, okay, let's do a bit of rushing then. So Robert showed me this one early. Has it got a particular name, this fan? Is it any, like a fan fan, or is it a solid fan? Or a... <laughs> As you can Was that guess. a chuckle then, was it? <laughs> As you probably guess, I'm not a, an expert on fans. Right, okay, um, I'll just look over perhaps, your your, perhaps some of your um, viewers could, uh, could tell us. Yes, yeah. yes, if anybody can tell us any insight into any fan stories, then uh, obviously just know. So... Tell me a little bit about this, then. Well, this one has a central um, uh, viewing glass in there. Ooh. So you could perhaps assume that this was perhaps used at, a, say, an opera or theatre. Can you just look at the back? Look at that. That is beautiful. So how long have you had that one in the collection? Um, this is an unprovenance one, so we're not ah, quite sure. We chose one yes. that we're not quite sure yes. of. And I noticed earlier we've got some... Such delicate carving on some of them. We can't actually pick these up, but if Shape Your Place viewers can have a look at that, can you imagine how long that must have taken to carve out? Is that ivory? That one, or is it? It probably is, yeah. Yeah. And then, of course, we've got the Victorian ones. I'm sorry about this. This is upside down, I know. But that's the one for the fire, isn't it? If, if a it's young screen. lady was sitting... Oh, sorry, it's screen. screen. So stop her cheeks from blushing. So what about this one here? This is a late, uh, this is produced around 1795, and in the centre here is a an image of the Prince and Princess of Wales, um, later George the the Fourth. I nearly said are they personal friends, but I wouldn't be so impertinent to do that. Right then, so give us the dates again of the exhibition. When can we come and see it? Uh, the first opening will be on this uh, coming. Saturday, right, and it's between eleven and three thirty uh, in the afternoon, yes. and then it will be repeated on the first Saturday of December. Okay, see that wasn't that scary, was it? <laughs> Robert said to me, he said I hate being on on film. Anyway, so I urge everybody, 
readers from far and wide, come and have a look at this fantastic collection. Absolutely free to view, as always, at the Wisbeach and Fenland Museum. And all we can really say is, once again, thank you very much, Robert.